you got the two inches along the floor here. There you go. Again, your vapor barrier, your air barrier, your R13 insulation value. But can I get moisture in or thermal bridging that comes around these joists? You know, that's a really good question. And we do do it sometimes. Now, keep in mind, more material, more surface area means more price to you. Longer to spray, more material, and what we usually call it is a flash coating. So we're not giving a, a full two inches, but we're giving it just like you see a flash coating here, but we're just giving it a little bit thicker of an amount of foam right here going around. That would pertain to people saying, well, can a little bit of moisture get through this? One thing you can go to is a study done by the LSU Ag Center, and very popular study. It's being used all over the Gulf Coast. LSU did a good job with it, and it doesn't necessarily talk about the flash coating around it, but it talks a lot about best practices. Again, closed cell spray foam being one of those best practices at two inches. So again, when we're having conversations about the possibility of a little bit of moisture coming in there, it is a valid question. Let's go into a little detail. Get us out, let us give you a bid, get a little more detail about it. Ask us some questions over the phone, and we'll be able to give you some information, send some information to you, get a little more deeper in the subject.